All right, everybody. Uh, we're going to talk about dialysis scales. So, um, first, I think we need to talk about what is dialysis and what's the need. Um, obviously, your kidneys help uh, filter out waste, excess fluid, toxins from your blood. Uh, they're also important for blood cell production and bone health. Uh, if, if kidneys don't work properly, harmful substances build up in the body, blood pressure can rise, and too much fluid can collect in the body's tissues, which leads to swelling. Uh, and this really is what we need to focus on for our industry, which is fluid can collect in the body's tissues. Uh, kidney dialysis is a life support treatment that uses special machine to filter harmful waste, salt, excess fluid from your blood. This restores the blood to a normal, healthy balance. Uh, dialysis replaces many of the kidneys' important functions. <clears throat> in, uh, so why and what kind of scales are used in, in dialysis centers? Uh, before each treatment, a dry weight, and that's a term used in their industry, must be determined. Dry weight um, is your weight without the excess fluid which builds up in between dialysis treatments. So since your, your kidneys aren't functioning properly, what happens is, is your body in between those treatments builds up fluid. And that, that can be very, very harmful if you don't continue that dialysis with your kidney, kidneys not uh, functioning properly. Um, stand on physician scales, bariatric and in-floor scales can all be used to determine dry weight of dialysis patient before each treatment. So when a patient comes in, the doctor weighs them and they determine how much weight they need to bring off of that patient. Uh, during dialysis, and that will be uh, really determines how long that treatment is going is to be. <clears throat> the uh, in-floor scales primarily are used to record the amount of fluid removed from the patient during dialysis. So while a patient is uh, getting the procedure, typically they're in a chair and they can be on a scale, and that scale can monitor the amount of fluid that is removed during the dialysis process. Uh, <clears throat> um, it is also recommended the patients receiving dialysis weigh each day in between treatments to ensure that the excess amount of fluid is not being stored in the body. If you get too much fluid on your body, it can cause all types of complications. <clears throat> um, there's also, when, when you're on dialysis, you have to watch your diet so they often um, give the patients, you know, scales to take home. One of those can be a, a stand-on bathroom type scale and a portion scale for nutrition needs because even all the, um, the uh, fluids in the food you eat must be measured. So. Uh, what's the market outlook for the scales and dialysis centers and home use for uh, dialysis patients? The U.S. dialysis providers are currently serving more than four, almost a half a million patients each year. This is growing at a five to six percent rate each year, year over year. Uh, there are currently over 6,600 dialysis centers, and there are more than 116,000 um, stations. So that's there must be 116,000 dialysis dialysis machines. So that means that there's a place for a scale at each one of those in, in our eyes. So here is where we introduced our new Solus. Typically, we've just used our industrial range of scales and put them in floor in a medical, uh, in a medical application. So this was really designed for dialysis for that, this particular application. So this is kind of how a, this in-floor scale would be used. Here is the instrument that we place in the wall and I wanted to give you an idea of how the scale is used in that dial uh, while the patient is being treated. So a patient will come in, sit in a dialysis chair. The, the chair is on the scale. So once the patient gets on the scale, the, the chair has already been teared. This, this could be the weight of the patient or the patient and the chair. It doesn't really matter. You would hit this tear patient chair weight. So once you hit that, the next thing that's going to come up is say, target fluid removal. So by that dry weight that we just talked about, they're gonna know we've got five pounds of excess fluid that we need to remove during this dialysis process. So then the nurse could go in and type in 4.8, enter, and then it would come up 
and throughout the dialysis center, it would be measuring the amount of fluid removed from the patient. And then once it reached that level, which was predetermined, the screen would turn red and a, and a buzzer would go off. So that's kind of how the scale is used in that uh, in, in dialysis center. They can also do it without a scale, but it's just a rough estimate of what can be removed and what happens when you don't weigh a patient. They can get up, they can become lightheaded, they can faint, there's other signs. So sometimes they have to uh, change what the machine's doing, whether it's just filtering the blood or whether it's filtering and removing uh, fluids. So that all that stuff, it's very um, important that you monitor that way throughout that uh, throughout the process. Um, the dialysis scale comes with a handrail. Um, if you choose, that's an option. It's an in-floor scale with uh, it's a thousand pound capacity by 0.2 pounds. Um, there are eight standard models. Our typical models that are in the book are three by three, four by three. 4x4 four four and 6x4. Um, custom sizes are available. Call into customer service. We'd be more than happy to quote it to you. All this is made uh, here in our factory in Web City, Missouri. Here is the recess mount and indicator package. We can provide this with an instrument only or an instrument and a printer. Um, it is a uh, full graphic touchscreen display. It's very user friendly. Um, it has nearly one inch display um, digits on it. And um, it's, very, it's very intuitive, so especially for the dialysis clinics. And a, a, a big feature on this as well for calibration and servicing the scale is it uses a, uh, it has four um, analog to digital converters in the scale for each load cell. So you can corner trim and, and calibrate the scale directly from the instrument. So there's no reason to pull the scale out or pull the cover off to get down there to maintain the scale or to uh, calibrate it. It can all be done from uh, the instrument, as you see here. Here is um, a, a cutout without showing the concrete around it. As you can see, it comes with a pit frame. A, here's the, the stainless steel deck and a trim ring around the scale. Um, the pit frame is for the contractor to, it, it, it acts as his form for the concrete and it also acts as a locator for the scale once the concrete has been poured. Um, the frame is fully welded and assembled for the contractor. He simply puts it um, wherever they're going to use the scale and pours the concrete around, around the pit frame. Um, the trim ring which is around the outside, it covers, um, it, it makes for a very smooth transition from the concrete to the scale. All of our past scales and our competitor scale, it's, it's simply an angle iron coming up. It also uh, prevents any chipping from, uh, from concrete, which our competitors don't provide. Um, <clears throat> everything is flush mounted, which makes it very easy to wheel patients on and off in a chair, or it also removes any possibility of tripping. Uh, the stainless steel top, um, which we've always offered in the past, has been a, a mild steel painted surface. This is impervious to uh, corrosion and all cleaning agents that the, the hospitals or dialysis centers might uh, use on the scale. And something else, another benefit of this, is you can remove the deck. So there's screws around the perimeter of the platform that you can remove to clean the pit if there's a spill. There could be a blood spill. There could be cleaning agents that are spilled in there. You can simply, with a uh, uh, an Allen head uh, bolt, you can remove those and clean the deck out without removing the entire scale. So it's very, very easy to uh, clean and maintain. You can see here how you would remove the remove the deck. Here's a close up of the deck. It's uh, very clean and nice. Here is with the deck removed. Here's the understructure of this. This is where your concrete would be. Here are um, some of the different models. You can see some with handles, um, some without. Um, like I said, they're very easy to maintain. The, the entire scale is built for the sole purpose of dialysis centers. Um, here's some other options as well for calculating dry weight. 
Some dialysis centers do use an in-floor just to calculate dry weight for the patients, but they also use standard scales like our Apex and our Icon and our, our bariatric uh, 6855 um, scale. So all of these should be pushed in those dialysis markets as well. I wanted to also bring up the, the bathroom scales because all of these dialysis centers typically will send home uh, patients home with a bathroom scale. So I wanted to show some options that we have. Uh, they'll move large quantities of bathroom scales through these dialysis clinics. So we've got the Slim Pro, um, which most people are familiar with. It's been around for several, several years. Um, it's got uh, some connectivity, which may or may not uh, be needed. It's a 440 pound capacity, uh, so it's a good scale to send home with the patient. We've also got some other options uh, that we can private label or sell that are a, a more basic standard scale with 500 pound capacities. They're not quite as, uh, as big a platforms, but I wanted to show some of these as, as examples. We also have uh, available, we have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi for, all, for, for most models that, that you've seen up here other than the bathroom type scales, uh, but are definitely available on the, uh, the Apex, Icon, Solus, 6855, all those uh, are available with this technology. Um, another thing that we have to offer that other of our other competitors have is um, uh, very good in-house technical support due to our industrial side of our business, uh, technical support, service, and service out on site if need be. Since we have the Cardinal Division, we also have a full de dealer network on that side of the company that we can send people out to work on these scales or serve these, service these scales as needed. So if you need help with installation or working with a contractor or calibrating these, these heavy capacity scales, call into customer service, we'd be more than happy to point you in the right direction. Uh, that's all.